my God, hello. Hey everybody, I'm back again. I'm here with Gary Hudson. He played Stephen Redhouse. Yes, I'm making my regular Saturday night thing. There you go. <laughs> so first off, tell everybody, how did you end up like in Red House? How did you come to be in the movie? Is there a really good Hollywood um, story behind no, that? No, Jackie Birch, uh, nice lady, very nice lady, great casting director. She's in North Carolina now. Jackie brought me in, and I read for Joel. And I worked for Joel several times. Patrick and I did the Renegades for Joel, and uh, you know, Joel, Joel uh, gave me the part. So I read and got the part. And some, you know, that's how we do so it up here. That? You weren't uh, found at a lunch counter or anything? I'm sorry? You weren't found at a lunch no, counter? No, I wasn't. Anything? Yes, I was found at a lunch counter on Hollywood Boulevard. You know, I was homeless. No. no, no, no. I can make something really up good. I can make a good story up. But no. I just went in for an audition through my agent. So um, after being in Red House, how did it change your life and your career? Well, or did it? People yelled out the car windows, I'm making my regular Saturday night thing, and when it happened to my mama calls you aboard it. Yeah, I had some classic lines in there, you know, and it was a, it was a fun movie to do, you know, and, and uh, Jeff Healy, I got to be good buddies with him. I was to Toronto, um, I spent probably seven months a year there for 14 years. Did wow. 20 movies and three TV series. Well, that's awesome. Healy had a, a, a bar he opened up. He got tired I didn't of going know that. Road. Yeah, he got tired of going on the road, so he opened up a, a bar in downtown Toronto, and I, I used to go there all the time. We See, that, that's, a, that's a story I've never heard. Yeah. That Jeff Healy opened up a bar in yeah. downtown Toronto. Oh, yeah, because he, he just, he, you know, he had a kid. Yeah. Got married, didn't want to go on the road anymore, and he opened it, and he brought in some of the, the greatest musicians. Oh, it was, that's a, it was a great place. And then Patrick and I, we studied together over with Milton, and we did, uh, first thing we did together was Skate Town USA. Wow. Um, and then we did, we did a play together, and then we did the Renegades together, and then we did Roadhouse together. You know, and then Patrick was going, was going to get me on his, uh, his series he was doing, and then, then he passed away. Oh. Yeah. It's but awesome. I, I did not know that you had a history with Patrick coming into the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you a funny story. About, remember the uh, remember the scene where he comes in and he gives a speech to all the bouncers? Yeah. Well, he had been like, I mean, Patrick was always really prepared for everything he did. He's a wonderful actor, talented man. But he, he had been doing a music thing, and, yeah. and he, he came to me, knocked my trailer, and said, Gary, I don't know my line as well as I should. He goes, he goes for this monologue. So we, it was a monologue, so we went into the, his trailer, and we ran it, and then we came up with all these different lines. And, you know, I came up with a lot of these different lines that, you know, that weren't in the script, and then uh, Patrick was like, yeah, you should show these lines, but i got to spread them around for the rest of the guys. He's like, no, 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 I got it, I got it. But that's why when you see him in that scene, you know, he's, he's, he's great to see, but it's, he's not as comfortable as he always was in the scene. It's so very funny because he, he was just working. He was so busy. The guy was working nonstop. He was working so big. It was, uh, that was funny. But when I see that scene, I remember us working just running and running and running for a couple hours before, uh, before we did that scene. He had it down good by the end, but it was fun. But that brings back good memories. I haven't seen this movie in so long. Right? You know, so so it's, it's such a time capsule. Yeah, and it's neat to see it on the big screen. It's a lot of fun. Well, after, I mean, after all these years, this is obviously the 30th anniversary screening. Mm -hmm. It's still shown everywhere all the time. It always pops up when I'm searching for movies to watch. What do you think has made Roadhouse become such a cult classic and is still so popular after all this time? It's, it just strikes a chord. There's great lines in it, you know. Uh, Tim Ward, who's a wonderful producer, been producing for, you know, for 30 years now, I think Tim has. Tim produced a rowdy, he's a terrific director. Uh, the shots are great. Sam Elliott is great. I mean, the whole film's just got this certain kind of energy about it that just uh, transcends time. It's just some of the best lines in the world were in this movie. It was such a well written right? film. You know, Joel Silver produced it. It was just a good group of people. You know? It was. And, uh, you know, Tim, I'm working, I'm trying, Tim is trying to help us out with this Johnny Unitas picture, actually, but, uh, about Johnny Unitas' life. His son Joe and I are working on uh, producing. Uh, Tim's been helping us out with that. He's just a really great guy. He's a really good guy. So, and Rowdy's great. I mean, everybody, everybody in the movie, it was just a great experience. That, that, I'm, I'm, that's what every, everyone that I've talked to yeah. tonight, we all have the same story. That it was such a great shoot. It was such a great group of people. 
Oh, it was great. You couldn't, you couldn't ask for yeah, really just everybody the Everybody was great. You know, they had the Benny Jeff as the choreographer, and we'd all be doing fight choreography. And Sam was great. And Kelly was great. I mean, you know, just uh, it was just a lot of fun. It was just a lot of fun. I made a lot of friends, you know, from that point. So it's neat to see a lot of people. Well, no, no, it really is. Yeah, yeah. So what are you working on now, or where can the fans see you? Or find I, you know, I, I've done about 20 Lifetime movies. I'm on Lifetime all the time. I just did a thing called Tales uh, for the BET anthology yeah. series. I just did that in uh, Atlanta about three weeks ago. And, uh, you know, I'm just going out for stuff. I'm, uh, you know, I've got three movies that I'm working on producing. One by Johnny Unitas and a couple of family kids. So, you know, I'm just doing my thing. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on something all the time, especially Lifetime. I'm, you know, I've done a lot. Lifetime's been good to me. Oh, no, that's that's great. I finally moved. Uh, I moved down to Miami about a year ago. Oh, you did? Because the the cost of living. Yeah, just, my sister's in Boca. So much. I live literally. Like you can sneeze, and I'm in Boca. Yeah. I live in Deerfield Beach. On oh, Hillsborough. Deerfield. I'm yeah. on Hillsborough yeah. Bay. When I, I, love, I love that area. It is. It I is love that so area. quiet and yeah. rich and cheap. Yeah. I mean, you can't. I'm thinking about going to Atlanta. There's so much work there. Well, and, that know, that's. I did a TV show. I mean, I've guest on a couple of TV shows there. Did this show, and I'm going. You know, this is a, yeah, it's, a, a, a little more reasonable than Santa Monica. It is, and it's and it's, a, it's, a, it's really from where I'm in Jerusalem. It's a quick flight to Atlanta. We yes. pick up a new agent there, and they're yeah. shooting so much between there. Yeah, and actually, I have the an app. agent there. I have an agent there. I have an agent in Atlanta, Vancouver, Toronto, yeah. LA. <laughs> an, actor's, an actor's life is, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I, I travel a lot. I travel, but it's been fun. Yeah, it is. It's been fun. And you're consistently working. That's yeah, great. yeah. I've been consistently working for longer than since I was like 22 years old. Right. Well, we Just a few all, years, like right? you know, five, six years. We were all like 12 to 16 in Roadhouse, so yeah, that would, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to do that. I, I was really young. I was really young. Yeah, but. Uh, it's really neat. It was. It's, it, I'm glad they did this. I'm surprised they don't do more things for Roadhouse, like you know, the well, that's, autograph session. That's actually what. That's actually things. what I was going to ask him about. Was um, there's been all sort of this weird internet buzz on these stories about what happened to the footage? Why was it never recut mm-hmm. to a director's cut? There's like the trailer, which I'm actually going to uh, put into my YouTube for this video. The trailer for Roadhouse, the original trailer, has bits and pieces from five scenes that don't appear in the film. Right. So everyone's been trying to find, you know, where is the film, the deleted scenes, the original cut. I'm sure Warner Brothers has it. But someone said it was part of when MGM sold off the last bit of property, there was some kind of fire. There's this whole, like, urban legend that it was all destroyed at the you fire. You say that's Rowdy. Right? Rowdy. Uh, that's, I'm hopefully going to speak to him in a little bit, and yeah. I'll definitely ask him. ask him. But that was the thing, because this show is so much still everywhere all the time. Yeah. And no tractor set, no no missing scenes, no gotta edited ask, audio. you got to ask Rowdy about that. You know, that, a lot of that wasn't going on back then. That's right. true. But know. to recut it now, I mean, it would do it would do well to really have a director's cut of Like, the 30th anniversary edition, director's yeah, cut, yeah, yeah. throw and um, I know there's a couple of extra scenes um, or takes with Jeff Healy doing different songs. Yeah, Sam has a lot more in it too that, that, yeah. that, they, that they left out. Yeah, yeah I got so. a I got a whole scene with John and Tony Patrick that's just that's not in the film either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can hear me yap for like two seconds and that's it. <laughs> that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Good uh, but uh, yeah, we, had, we had a lot of we had a, you know, I wish Marshall was here. He's living in uh, I think North Carolina too, oh. Marshall T. Yeah, well, there's a lot going on North Carolina too, not as much as Atlanta, but they do yeah. shoot quite a bit. Huh? Yeah, they've also tax subsidies, so they're not doing as much. But uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of guys who are all spread out. I mean, acting's like a you feel like you're you're a, a vagabond carnival it is. carnival it's, existence. It's a gypsy. You know? yes. Yes, a gypsy. I'm a gypsy. Yeah. I do kind of, uh, I do kind of like living out of hotels. So it's yeah. Nice. yeah, you know what? I've got I've done you know yeah. five movies in Europe. I've traveled the world, Central America, South America. I'm going all over. But I do. So it's not, you know, it's not a bad job. It's not a bad, it's not a bad, bad life. So you've got nothing to do with that. That's been great. It's good yeah. to see you yeah, again, too. Yeah, good to see you, too, darling. Give you a hug. No, give me a hug.